Hello everyone, I am Miss J. Welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be going over double piston extenders and we're going to be going over both horizontal and vertical. These can both be pulsed or left on permanently and what I mean is that we can turn it on and leave it on to where it stays on and then when you turn it off again it'll fully retract or you can just have it activate one time and then retract when the pulse is up. And then same thing over here for the horizontal one is that you can leave it on the whole time or you can pulse it. So as always, I explained not just how to build things, but how things work and why to build them. So basically the issue with double piston extenders is that you have to extend the first piston first, which makes sense obviously. And then you have to extend the second piston. Now the problem, because this is relatively simple, but the problem comes when this has to be depowered first, and then you have to depower this one, but then you have to repower the second one in order to get the block that you would have had sitting on top of it. So if I show you step by step, basically power, and then power here, and then unpower, on power and then redo the middle again. So the way that these two contraptions work that I've designed here, now keep in mind there may be other people who have designed very similar or even the exact same kind of contraptions. I don't know if they have or not, but I can tell you this, I spent a long time in my testing world playing around with these and coming up with these exact designs in order to make them work in the world that I want to use them in. Now because the way that the redstone is, what we're doing is on the initial power up you can see that this redstone line is actually the first point of power but it's coming up to this slime block and so that's not actually going to turn anything on because you cannot power a piston from the face of it. So then the only thing getting powered in the very first step, and mind you this all happens extremely fast, is this piston right here. And I'll go over the timing of the repeater in just a second. So then after that what happens is this extends pushing this piston up to where the slime block is and then what happens is this redstone line which is still illuminated which is still powered rather is going to then power this piston extending it all the way. So that's the easy part. Now the hard part is getting it to retract in the proper order. Because there's no repeater on this top redstone line the moment that you depower the circuit the first thing to depower is that top piston because we have this repeater keeping the bottom one extended. So if you watch, the bottom one stays extended for just a little bit longer. Now then, if we look at that again, what's happening is I have this observer, which is watching this observer, which is watching this repeater. So then what happens is when this repeater turns off, it updates this observer, this observer sees this observer change, and then it gives a redstone pulse to the second piston, which is down here. So if I do this in slow motion, I'm gonna try to do this in slow motion and editing and explain to you what's happening. First the bottom piston extends, when the second piston gets to the top it gets powered by the redstone signal and then it extends the rest of the way. When you depower, the top piston unpowers first which causes it to retract and then be able to retract. The bottom piston then retracts as well pulling the second piston with it and then because the repeater on the bottom has now turned off after the bottom piston has retracted, the observers then send an update just for one momentary on off to the second piston. So the design is pretty easy. You can probably figure it out just by looking at this. Just note that the arrows on the observers indicate where the redstone side is but going ahead and going block by block anyways just in case what you're going to do is you're going to build a u-shape just like this one with two blocks in the middle and then your sticky pistons are going to go facing up of course to uh, at the second block level now then what you're going to do is you're going to place an observer facing inside so that the face is going towards the inside of your u 
Then the next thing is you're going to put a repeater down and you're gonna put that to three ticks, which means that you're going to click on it two times. If you didn't know, the default state is one tick and then you click it once for two, again for three, and then the max state is four. So we're gonna leave it at three. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put redstone here, here. Go ahead and put a block above that. And then what you're gonna do is grab an observer and then holding sneak, you're going to look down at your repeater and you're gonna place it like so. Then you're just going to redstone across the top, slap a button or a lever on top of it, whatever it is that you want, and there you go. Now coming over to the horizontal one, the operation is the same, but it's a little bit easier to understand how it works. So when we power it, the first thing that's actually going to get powered is going to be the slime block, which again does not matter. Then what we're doing is we're holding a very long power line of four ticks going over to the first piston. And because the observer is a one tick behind, it's not going to power this piston right away. So it would seem like the moment you're going to power it, the observer would detect the change and then turn on the second piston first, but because the observer is one tick behind from the repeater being powered, it actually gives power to the back piston first. Now, once this, once the second repeater gets into the forward position, it's going to be powered by this line right here. That's easy enough. And then once we retract, what we're going to do is we're going to depower from here. So this line is going to turn off first, causing this piston to retract. Our repeater is going to hold this one powered for four ticks, which is going to keep this one extended for just a bit just long enough for us to be able to wait for this one to retract and then this one will pull back which will pull piston number two with it lining it up with the observer and then again as with before when this repeater shuts off of course this will be retracted already and the observer detects the turn off and it powers piston number two which is then in this location so if we turn it off there we go so i'll try to do that slow motion again so that you can see And I don't think we really need to go block by block on this one. There's no tricks to it. Your observer faces the repeater, repeater on four ticks. So it looks like on this one, you can probably get away with three ticks on the repeater, just like we did with the vertical one. But that's it, guys. Hopefully that helps you out. Let me know if it did. As always, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, I would love to have you subscribe. If you run into any issues at all, join the Discord, and we'll do the best that we can in order to help you out. That's it for today, guys. I'm Animus J. See you next time.